Hello everyone, in this video I'll be talking about the sale details for the Diamond Charge Station which is a brand new NFT coming to Townstar. I'll also be talking about the utility and uh, use case and what my thoughts are on this new NFT. Uh, this one has been pretty highly requested the past couple of days. I'm not sure why, I mean have you guys seen the price tag? <laughs> no seriously though, uh, yeah I'll be talking about this. Uh, so without further ado, here it is. Diamond Charge Station is a legendary NFT. It hits the stores on May 5th, 2023 at 1 p.m. Uh, Central Time. You can check the Gala Games Discord Townstar announcements to see what this time is in your time zone. So what exactly does it do? It will double the passive energy of anything that already provides passive energy. And yeah, that's pretty insane. So I'll touch more on that in a bit. Uh, first, the sale details. There's going to be 100 in supply in the Gala Games store, which is pretty scarce. Uh, price is going to be $900, and that's 10% off for the first 48 hours. After that, it's going to be $1,000, but we probably won't see that. Uh, it's purchasable in town, Gala, and credit card with a purchase limit of one per transaction, which is actually good. I know that the community wants a purchase limit of one per transaction to prevent uh, just a couple people buying multiple of them really quickly. Now, this doesn't mean each person could get one. Uh, somebody could definitely get multiple. Um, it's just more time consuming and more difficult to do. And I will talk about more about that in a bit. So back to utility, yeah, it doubles the proximity of uh, power plants, nuclear power plants, solar panels, and Tesla coils um, in terms of energy. From my understanding, it shouldn't double the proximity effects of their dirty and shady. Um, that is from my understanding, it should just double the energy. So the, uh, the NFT itself provides up to two passive energy, uh, same as a rare solar panel or rare Tesla coil work. It does not cast any negative proximity effects, and it does not require a road to place down, which is very nice. So for power plants, they normally give three passive energy, but if you have this NFT placed anywhere in your town, the power plants will instead give up to six passive energy. And it works as you would expect it to work, so it starts off at six, then falls down to five, then four, then three, then two, then one, the farther away you get from the power plant. Uh, nuclear power plants usually get four passive energy so this would double them to eight passive energy which is pretty insane like that's a lot of energy uh, solar panels and tesla coils they give one two or four depending on their rarity so yeah if you have the diamond charge station it will double whatever they usually give you uh, those are nfts solar panels and tesla coils they are not buildable in the game just wanted to make that clear and this is how it looks diamond charge station so that is the cell details, that is the utility um, use case. Well, you would pretty much use this on any build. I mean, pretty much any build you use energy. Maybe some of them you don't need uh, that much passive energy, but you can still use the NFT to provide energy to help you build uh, buildings that require it. Um, but yeah in most cases like if you're making gasoline you're gonna need passive energy for the refineries so this would still help out um instead of having to build two power plants so you can get six passive energy for your refinery crafting gasoline you would just need one power plant but remember that you do have to place this nft down you're still going to be wasting one space on that uh ultimately for uh for gas production, this NFT didn't really help a lot, uh, but I do see this NFT helping a lot when it comes to an industrial build that requires a lot of passive energy, such as steel or blue steel. This is where this NFT will shine because those builds need a lot of passive energy. And yeah, we could probably see other builds that uh, that are similar that also need a lot of passive energy. I can think of candy canes because the candy shops require five energy in order to craft candy canes. And I'm sure there's more buildings out there that also require a lot of energy that uh, I can't think of at the moment. But yeah, uh, just about any build, you would want some passive energy. 
Uh, so that's that's the use case. It's helpful. It saves you spaces in almost any situation. In my opinion, it's not game breaking. Like yeah, it's an amazing NFT in terms of utility, but it's not something that would in any way guarantee you like top 100. I just do not see this NFT doing that. Um, I also don't see this NFT as being one of the ones you would want to get if you don't already have other better NFTs that are uh, providing more utility like the Miranda skins, the enchanted ornaments, or the haunted mansion pieces for passive crude oil or wheat stands for passive wheat. And then, you know, those haunted mansion pieces and wheat stands also provide town points. So it has like double the utility right there. So yeah, I wouldn't really recommend this NFT over those because you could get a lot of uh, really good NFTs with a bunch of different utilities for the same price as this one if you were trying or considering getting this one. So yeah, that's use case. So yeah, just gonna get into my thoughts now. The utility is obviously great. I'm gonna use it all the time. Um, that's what I think about the NFT. So is it worth it? Probably not for 900 bucks, but I know it definitely know that people are going to buy it anyways. <laughs> uh, because it's an NFT that they would always use. You're always going to use it. If you own this, you are always going to use it. I don't see a situation where you wouldn't use it. I mean, you're always going to want to make lumber and lumber needs two passive energy. So you're always going to want to place this down next to your lumber mill. Or if you are crafting gasoline because you don't own anything that helps you avoid that, like a dragon at the moment, then yeah, you're going to want this to help you provide more passive energy for your gasoline production. Um, so I don't really think it's worth the price, but yeah, I already know that people are going to get it. And um, in terms of utility, I understand it makes sense. 900 is a lot. But the utility pretty much matches uh, matches the 900. I, I understand that some people would be willing to pay that, and that's fine. It's fine. Um, so, what do I think this would go for in say the secondary market? I think it'll at the very least retain its value. To be honest, uh, if it's being sold at 900 in a Gala game store, I think it'll at the very least retain 900 if not over a thousand in the secondary market of course none of this is financial advice just to remind you this is just my thoughts so yeah i could very well go over that but uh i i at the very least think it'll retain its value in the short term and in the long term it may even gain value just because i do know that they want to aim for a bigger map size and these diamond NFTs actually improve if the map is bigger because then you're going to need more um, energy or capacity, for example. Uh, just to talk about the diamond warehouse for a bit, it uh, doubles the capacity of your warehouses if you weren't aware. That would actually be better if the map size was bigger and you needed to have more warehouses uh, in different spots. Uh, the diamond uh, water pump, also a similar situation that would improve if you had a bigger map size and you needed more water pumps around the town and the diamond water pump also actually had a good reaction with its sale in the secondary market not really with the actual sale itself because that one had a lot of issues uh the diamond water pump sold for 350 dollars in the galley game store there was a lot of issues with purchasing it but the people who did purchase it um and kept it or ended up selling it well that one now goes for almost 500 to 700 dollars on OpenSea and of course all these values may change uh, they change with the market and with the player base and with demand for the utility so yeah I didn't want to get too much out of topic with this NFT but it is a diamond NFT and I should compare it to other diamond NFTs as well so I think it'll retain its value um, am I planning on getting one? But at first, I wasn't. But the thing is, 
since I can see that this NFT could probably retain its value, I don't see why I shouldn't at least pick one up. And if I decide I don't need it or I need the money back, I can just sell it for about the same price I sold it at, at the very least, right? Um... And yeah, some people might not agree. Some people might not think that's cool. I'm just here sharing my honest thoughts about this, guys. So yeah, I will pick one up. I don't really plan on picking more than one up. Um, and oh yeah, and I'm going to talk about that in a bit. Uh, so yeah, the I'll move on to the purchase limit. But even though only one of them is purchasable per transaction, what people tend to do or what people can do is... As soon as they buy one, they're just going to go back into the store and buy another one. Nothing is stopping you. Um, yeah, you can just make another transaction. And some people don't know this, but what some people do is... Um, okay, so lately they've been putting out the link to the actual item before the item goes on sale. And what people do is open multiple tabs of that link. I can't believe I'm telling people this, but the, it's already known. Some people already know this. Um, they open multiple tabs, and then as soon as the time hits where it goes on sale, they'll refresh those tabs, and then they'll just quickly try to buy the NFT in multiple tabs and try to get multiples of them. Uh, no, seriously, some people will do this. Um, uh, if they don't do that, they're just going to go back to the store and try to purchase it that way. So yeah, even though it's purchased them at a one per transaction, some people are going to get multi. Uh, another thing, if somebody buys it with credit card, they can't trade it for 14 days, obviously. If you check OpenSea, you're not actually going to be able to see who bought it with a credit card. It's going to stay on Gala Games wallet. So you check OpenSea, you check the wallet. Uh, maybe this NFT sold out. Um, you'll see that the, one of the wallets has like 50 NFTs. That's probably the Gala Games wallet. So don't be uh, confused about that. Uh, one thing I haven't mentioned is, do I think this is going to sell out? Yeah, this is this is probably going to sell out, guys. Um, no, this will sell out. It definitely will. Now, how fast will it sell out? That's the thing. Uh, so let me talk about the diamond pump again a bit. That that's uh, that cell had issues. Despite those issues, it still managed to sell out in under 12 minutes. I was there for that cell, so I know. In under 12 minutes, it sold out despite the issues. If it didn't have issues, it probably would have sold out in two minutes. Um, so moving back to this NFT, it's gonna sell out. Considering the high price tag, maybe not as fast as the diamond water pumps, but I, I may be wrong. My guess is I'm going to say under 10 minutes and I think I'm being generous there. <laughs> uh, maybe very well sell out in two or three minutes. I don't know. I'm going to say in under 10 minutes is my guess for this to sell out. Very unfortunate. I know. Even if I'm completely horribly wrong, I still think this will definitely sell out in under 20, uh, 48 hours because, you know, it's the 10% off thing they're doing. Uh, that helps drive the FOMO for these NFT sales. Unfortunately, it's just a sales tactic. Uh, but yeah, that's that's my honest thoughts on on how fast I think it'll sell out in terms of everything I talked about, secondary market value, all that. And yeah, yeah I'm just I'm pretty much just thinking about this, talking about it at the same time. So this isn't a very organized video, but this is the best way I can share my thoughts honestly. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got to talk about for this NFT. So, um, oh, one thing I should mention, if you are for some reason planning to buy this, um, not that I would recommend it. This isn't really an NFT I would recommend. I would recommend you go get Miranda skins and, uh, pass, pass weed, pass fruit oil first, honestly. Uh, but I know some of you, <laughs> you already made up your mind on this one. Um... If you are planning on purchasing any NFT, not necessarily this one, um, any from the Galley Game Store, I do have affiliate links in the description of the video. You can click on the one that takes you to the Galley Game Store, and if you do decide to make a purchase, I get some commission, helps the channel grow, and helps support my content. I don't really like asking for that, but it does help me out, and it's 
if it's something you you're gonna end up doing anyway like purchasing something for the gala game store whether that's an nft gala gold or um or a node or something then you might as well help support the channel where you're doing it but completely up to you just thought i would throw that out there and but basically yeah that's it so if you found this informative or helpful feel free to like the video definitely do leave a comment on what your thoughts are about this nft do you think it'll break the game are you planning on getting one what do you honestly think about this nft maybe you have a different opinion than i do and that's completely fine and uh yeah and consider subscribing if you haven't done so so you don't miss out on my content if you ever need me to review an nft that's coming up on sale maybe not necessarily for townstar but for other games as well please do let me know and i will do my best but yeah that's everything <laughs> i appreciate your support and thanks for watching